Wisconsin One by Nancy Sidmore. From the About Wandering series, this witty coming of age at any age travel experience is shared with a focus on adventure and bicycling in Wisconsin. What is the most asked question you are asked? Where do you sleep? What do you tell them? Well, at night I first look around for a cheap motel, seldom found, then maybe a state campground. If not, then any cheap campground, followed by anything that looks like a camp spot, or settling for a patch of grass or weeds, and when all else fails I just tie myself up to a tree and hope I'm still there in the morning. The path to Russell Woods is perhaps best traveled by Brickville Road, and I leave the other details for those who seek them out on their own. But for those who like the smell of cow patties and Chicago smog, there are few better roads. Celebrating my accomplishment of biking from Illinois to Wisconsin, I walked the bike and trailer to Sharon to get some lunch. Sharon is a kick back and take a snooze kind of town with a couple of cafes, bars, stores, and a library. Perfect. Navigating with my stomach and after making nervous glances at a storm cloud following me down the road, I got a damn good burger at the Coffee Cup Cafe on Baldwin Street. I decided to stretch back in the cafe chair to soak in my glory and take in the meaning of this small step, but giant leap, I've just taken this afternoon. I'm no longer the same, but have transformed myself into a world traveler, a new me. Tragedy strikes. A beautiful morning in the park at Brunette had cleared out because as one departing camper told me they had jobs. I packed up gear that knew very well the routine and I looked for certain items as I took inventory and discovered almost all my rechargeable AA batteries, batteries worth over a hundred bucks, were gone. Thinking back, I realized I must have left them at the motel back at Ladysmith. I felt like someone just thrust a sword into my gut. I fell to my knees and tore at my clothes, screaming, why, oh why, no. I tried to recount the steps I must have taken where I might have made this lapse. I thought about going back and trying to retrieve them because I hate leaving soldiers behind. I thought about calling the child who runs the motel to see if she might have noticed them in my room. What I did was sit on the picnic table next to my packed rig, close my eyes for a long time, and mourn their loss. I knew I would heal with time. I just needed time. To cheer up after such a huge loss, I decided to buy a little happiness with the best breakfast I could buy in Cornell, so I asked the lady at the grocery store where could I get a great breakfast in town. She told me the place across the street at the John Henry's was her favorite. Though I went there having doubts about her advice, I found she was dead on correct. The food met my two criteria, cheap and really good. With a belly full of good grub and a bright sunny August day, I tried to forget the batteries and carried on down the old Abe trail without them.